Are you ready to transform your summer into an epic splash-tastic adventure? Say goodbye to wasteful, single-use water balloons and hello to the ultimate in reusable, eco-friendly fun with reusable water balloons. Check out the link in the video description to get yours on Amazon today. Donald Trump has taken the stage at the Republican National Convention to address his assassination attempt. The former president added that it was too painful to discuss more than once. Eric gave a fiery speech as he became emotional, describing the moment when he heard his father was shot. Trump sat with his family and held his four-year-old granddaughter, Carolina, as Eric spoke. Toward the end of his speech, Eric directed his attention to his father, saying that their family held their breath as they saw blood pour across his face. The whole world saw your strength as you stood up and wiped blood across your face, Eric said, describing the assassination attempt as one of the most courageous moments in American politics. Eric also discussed Trump's upbringing and praised his administration. My father saw potential when others saw disparity. Eric began his speech, adding that his father built the New York City skyline. He restored hope. He restored a voice to millions of Americans who have been ignored. He restored the American dream, Eric said of Trump's administration. Eric praised the economy during his father's administration and said Trump made the United States safe. My father has been censored. The former president ripped off Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. My father has been persecuted, he added. My father has been pulled off the ballots of states. My father even became the target of an assassin. Eric also discussed illegal immigration, reiterating a common theme discussed throughout the RNC. Your government can do so much better, and it will, Eric added. He said his father believed in the promise of America when others turned away. Eric concluded his speech with a call to voters and a promise that Trump would make America great again. Kid Rock then took to the stage to hype up the crowd for Dana White and Trump. He wore a black t-shirt with a leather jacket and a fedora hat. Kid Rock screamed at the audience to chant fight and Trump as an American flag graphic was displayed behind him. Dana White, CEO of the Ultimate Fighting Championship, took the stage next to introduce the former president. White and Trump are longtime friends and the UFC tycoon is a strong supporter of Trump's presidency. Dana said that Trump truly cares about people, and cited the former president's concern with interrupting Dana's family vacation for the RNC. Nobody in the Trump campaign has ever told me what to say. Nobody tells me what to say, he added. Dana said that Trump was the toughest, most resilient human being he's ever met in his life. I know President Trump is literally putting his life on the line for something bigger than himself, Dana said. He loves this country. And I know he wants what's best for the American people. I know he's running for president to save our American dream, he added. Dana concluded his speech with an enthusiastic endorsement. America needs a strong leader and the world needs a strong American. Donald Trump is the best choice. My fellow Americans, it is my honor to introduce the 45th president of the United States, Donald Trump. Trump took the stage late on Thursday night after a slew of speeches to formally accept the Republican nomination for president. We rise together or we fall apart. I am running to be president for all of America, not half of America, he told the crowd. There is no victory in winning for half of America. So tonight with faith and devotion, I proudly accept your nomination for president of the United States. I am running to president for all of America not half of America BC, there is no victory in winning for half America he added. Trump said he would address the assassination attempt once because it was too painful to recall. He set the scene as a warm Saturday in Pennsylvania and as he was discussing his administration's work at the southern border, he turned to look at a screen behind him. Trump demonstrated his turn when he felt something hit him really really hard on his right ear. I said to myself, well, what was that? It could only be a bullet, Trump added. He described blood all over the place and recalled immediately feeling the urgency of the moment. Trump thanked the Secret Service and said that even though there was blood pouring everywhere he felt safe, because he ha.